So a couple days ago, I was over on Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me anything. I said, yo, just throw some questions my way and we're gonna do a Q&A video. And what do you know, that's what we're doing today. I didn't just wanna do a regular Q&A where I'm just scanning the questions, I write down my answers and then spew it off back to you. So I decided to do it with a little flip. The one question that has been, I guess, asked to me a bunch of times even before this Q&A is, who is that guy over on TikTok who looks just like you? He has a mustache, he even has a mullet. Who, who the hell is this guy? Just an imposter or are you guys related? What's going on? So I went out and found this guy in the depths of TikTok and I brought him over here to address these, these questions that you guys have been asking. So I threw this guy a message and I said, hey, why don't you just come over onto my channel and address the questions that I know you've been having as well as me and uh, why don't we do it together? And guess what guys, he agreed. So today, I'm very excited to announce our special guest for today's video, Dylan Pay. Get a, get a good look, 360, yes, the twin sister is here, let's go. Dylan, before you hop out of your seat with excitement, uh, we, gotta, we gotta break this down, break today's video down, what are we doing here today? I have got access to the great Elliot Page's Instagram on my phone, on my phone. I'm gonna be asking you rapid fire and you'll have no idea what I do ask you, but I'll be asking all the questions from the fans. Uh, you counted how many questions there were, right? Can we get a number on that? As of right now, 325, but it hasn't even been 24 hours yet. Wow, so yeah, I just want to, I guess before we even start this video, thank you guys so much for, for uh, asking me these questions over on Instagram. If you ever wanna be involved in another video like this in the future, be sure to go and follow me at Elliot Page Sneakers. I think that we have to address first, the first question from Vic underscore Swole is, what's up with that other guy that looks like you? I need answers. I guess that's a fitting question to start <laughs> off with. Um, so Dylan, Dylan is my brother, okay? He is flesh and blood. And uh, at the moment, he's out in Australia. He actually stayed there. We were both living there together. Um, I came back to the UK and he ended up staying for uh, an extra year. We've been brothers for, I think, what? 20 years now, I think, at least, 25? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Bruh, you don't even know my age. I'm actually turning 23 in one week's time. So I want them happy belated. Or what, what do you call it before belated? Birthday Eve, maybe? Yeah. How old are you now? 24? 24, man. I'm getting old, son. We're twins, but we're just different ages. Yeah. Okay? That's what I always say. Yeah. I, yeah. It's just how life works. Anyway, jump over straight to the next question. Do you try to speak with an American accent or is this some kind of mild British accent? Why the Yo. hell do you have an International Waters accent, bruh? Asked by Jovsad. That's a really good question because I get that question a lot in like YouTube comments. The strangest thing is that people think I'm putting an American accent on. I mean, I've got like what, yeah. maybe 300 videos on my YouTube channel. If I put this accent on every single video would be ludicrous. <laughs> and, and repeat it perfectly every single time. And then also decide to have this weird mix. I don't know. So my brother and I grew up in South Africa. Um, I guess some people know that, some people don't. So we have a bit of a weird accent, I guess. Um, our parents are English, so they had an English accent even when we were in South Africa. Uh, we both lived in Australia for a year, probably picked up a bit of a bit of a fucking twang out in Aussie. But yeah, so it's, it's just a weird mixture of an accent. A lot of our friends were American when we were younger, bizarrely enough, out in South Africa. That that answers that question. Adam Watt 14 asked your favorite sneaker that you've ever bought and the worst sneaker that you've ever bought. That's a tough one. Okay, best sneaker I've ever bought. Let's just go with the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan 1. I'm gonna pick that one for a few different reasons. One, because it's the most expensive sneaker I've ever bought. So buying it was like, it was scary. It was, you know, it, it uh, ignited emotion in me because I was like, if I F these up, that's 1,300 pounds down the drain. And then worst sneaker I've ever bought. Gotta be some Lee Nings, hey? Some Lee Nings? <laughs> Back in the day when I had the crazy sneaker episodes? No, worst sneakers is, it was, Elliot, okay, for anyone that doesn't know, 
Elliot has always been just way out there when he comes to when it comes to sneakers. He had furry sneakers oh, from I damn. think oh, I can't remember where they were from. No, you've you've got me thinking about those shoes. Those do have to be the worst. The the furry cheetah print LeBron James shoes. I can't even remember LeBron's. what LeBron they were. And I used to wear those things to college thinking I was swaggy as hell. Next question from Dimitri underscore Stameski. Why you so beautiful? First off, I want to say uh, I'm glad that you're doing this so I don't have to go through the pressure of butchering names. Thank you very much for that. Uh, it's not really a question. And, and Dylan, thank you for including that. It is a question. Why are you so beautiful? You can just simply say genetics. It's an easy answer. Well, if it was genetics, it would have extended to you, bruh. And I, I don't feel... <laughs> oh, well, at least you got a good joke out of that one. I bet you feel good about yourself. Okay, let's keep it Damn. moving. Cody Cross Sucks says, I feel like New Balance took over 2021. So for you, which brand do you think that is gonna is going to take over 2022? First of all, I would agree with the New Balance statement. They killed it last year. Um, this year, I actually think they're going to have another insane year with a bunch more collaborations. The 550 is already one of the most popular shoes right now. Everybody wants it. New Balance 2022. I'm going to say it now. They're going to have some banger collaborations. They're going to be big. Well, the next question, Ultralight29 says, what did you do before you started creating content? So actually, I told you guys that I, um, I quit my job. <laughs> And, and started full-time YouTube. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber now, I guess. Before this, I was a personal trainer and I had been a personal trainer for probably about six years. No one even knows that you have gains because you always wear bloody like loose tops like this. Yeah. So I remember when you told me that you put a story on and you were in the gym and everyone was like, yeah, what this... the hell? <laughs> this guy's actually swole? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, because I'm always wearing like oversized t-shirt. When I was a personal trainer, like your physique is such an overbearingly large portion of your identity to some extent like you're that guy you're the the trainer you got to have muscles you got to be on show all the time so doing youtube and having this channel was kind of like a way for me to i guess be something a little bit more where i don't you know my body is not necessarily my full identity i can let my personality be a little bit more of a forefront in um I guess my who I am so that was really nice for me so I didn't really kind of want to put my body on show and that's still something I, I really enjoy coming away from personal training is just being yo I want to be a regular dude Brandon Mayita one celebrity you would want to meet meet sometime what do you reckon just one uh Kanye you got to be careful you don't spaz out at you and be like don't take pictures or autographs yeah and if he's just gonna be like yo I ain't got the time, then I'd probably pick like Elon <laughs> Musk or something like that. Okay, now next question. This is a good one. I like this. Prince Bargan said, if sneakers never existed, what would be the content of your YouTube channel from Philippines? I love that. I think it would still be product based, like unboxing videos or it would probably still be reviews. It's like probably one of the first things I watched on YouTube. Well, that's a this is a perfect segue. So CLA underscore zero six nine nine asks, or they first say, hi, really like your videos. And then they ask, who is the person that inspires you the most? Dylan, you would have to be my biggest inspiration. Just generally, like if I need, <laughs> don't laugh, bitch. I'm giving you a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I regret saying that, but either way, I'm gonna carry on now. No, it's already that was a out good laugh. Mouth. That was a nice laugh. Okay. It wasn't supposed to be a bad one. Well, thank you. Yeah. I, You're I, my inspiration too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Like if I ever need any like help with like, yo, I need a video idea. I just chop it up with you and I'll just come up with more creative ideas. All right, next question. Andrew E. Bailey says, how the hell are you able to purchase all of these sneakers? You wanna tell us your secrets? I'm sure you've got some, you know, brown paper bag under the table kind of deals. What the hell is a brown paper bag deal, dog? I wanna make the best videos that I possibly can. So what that means is, 
you know, reinvesting any money that I make from YouTube back into the content that I make. So yes, I do have to buy a lot of stuff. Um, yes, I do choose to make a lot of unboxing videos, which means I need to buy a lot of shoes just for one video. But I think that's like one of my favorite aspects of it is like unboxing it and just seeing what this shoe is like. Even, you know, if I don't want to like fully do a review on it, at least we get to experience this product that maybe someone else really likes and they want to see um, my thoughts or they just want to see it on camera. Now, how do I afford it is, is just, I mean, YouTube pays me. Obviously, I don't keep every single shoe. Um, some I have to just, I mean, I have a million shoes if I kept every single one. Obviously, some I just return if I don't like it. Um, but at the moment, I've got a bunch, you know, that I have kept and it can definitely get out of hand very, very quickly. But all right, next question. Rye Jones said, uh, what was your first big sneaker buy? Do you remember that? The first sneaker I've bought or what? First sneakers that you can probably, because I mean, like when you're young, you're buying sandals and flip flops and your parents buying it for you. So the first one that you remember buying that's big. Uh, or Air Force One High Midnight Navy. Yeah. There we go. That's the one. Get a picture up or something like that too, so they can see it. Francesco, and I can't even read the second name. I would like to know why you are so underrated on YouTube. You are fire, man. Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think that it's intended more like your your quality of your videos are up there with anyone who is in the, you know, 800, 900, 1 million range. I think that's that's kind of it, you know. Well, that's pretty that's a big statement, bro. Um, okay, well, I thank would say you. So, I mean, I've, I've seen all the videos and, and I can say for myself, now I'm just answering the question for you, but <laughs> the next question is from Harry J. Michael. What is your favorite brand right now? I'd probably have to say represent. I'm a lot more personal with them. Like, again, like I said, like I've been to their sample sale. I went to their book launch. I've spoke to the owners. Uh, I watched their documentary. Like they're very transparent about what they do and who they are. And so it's very easy to just really like what they're doing. So I'd have to say represent. I wear a lot of their stuff. I think it's great quality, looks super dope. Next question, T underscore Ho said, favorite mu mu music artist? Oh, this is a tough one, dog, sheesh. Okay, let's make it easier. Let's make it easier and just say right now. Zilla Kami and City Morgue, I would say are the most listened to right now. Like. Hi, Damn, bro, you angry. I'm angry, You dog. angry. <laughs> angry. Definitely Kanye. Like, I'll be super hyped whenever he drops an album. Frank Ocean. I mean, he hasn't dropped an album in a minute, yeah. but... Oh, sh okay. Top three, let's go. Frank Ocean, Kanye West, Pierre Bourne. Right, now, last question, and this is the probably the biggest one. Daniel Walters, 27, asks... 2022 goals. Let's wrap it up with that. One of them, since we've kind of spoke about it, is our channel. Dylan and I starting a channel together, which, um, you know, we want to do this year. We want to make it just me and him chopping it up about different things. We were thinking like reaction, but then we started, you know, realizing how savage copyright is on YouTube. So we may, we may not do that, but we'll, we'll see. And definitely that's a big goal for 2022. Um, also just, doing more different things on this channel. I wanna do more vlogs, so that's a big thing. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's any sneaker events or sneaker con things, sneaker cons in the UK that I can go and do this year, and that's gonna be another goal. Uh, but just trying to change up the stuff, you know, make it as interesting as possible. And again, another goal is bring the best content I possibly can over here to the channel. Decent, bro. De I mean, I'm, I'm just looking around because as you could probably just see, flying around here is about 50,000 bugs. I've got all the lights on <laughs> and my window open and I'm looking around the room and just darted on all, oh my God. I'm gonna have to wrap this up, brother. Again, a massive thank you guys so much for asking and being involved. If, if we asked your question, thank you so much for being involved in this. If you ever wanna be involved in anything like this in the future, again, go and follow me over on Instagram. And while we're doing this, we might as well plug you, Dylan. So go ahead, chuck your stuff on the screen. But where are you it's at, just bro? Just straight up. Dylan Page, Dylan, pa I mean, probably as soon as you say, that's it for the video, everyone's clicked off. But if anyone's still here, it's just Dylan Page and Dylan Page on TikTok too. That's it. So thank you guys so much for coming through. Thank you for hanging out with the both of us for today's video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then.